Financial literacy is such an important issue in Australia for children and for adults. At Rise High Financial Solutions, we believe it's important for children to learn about financial literacy and money management from a young age. Now more than ever before, where we've got invisible money and we go to the ATM machine to get our money out or we just flash our card, it's a lot more difficult for children to understand the value of money. So teaching children financial literacy and better money management skills is an absolutely essential life skill that every Australian child needs. And it's interesting to know that most Australian children will have developed their money management habits by the age of eight. That's why it's so important that we get involved in these initiatives and get in there and teach children about money from a young age. Running the financial literacy sessions at schools is a lot of fun. The students absolutely love it. They're bursting at the seams with excitement to get involved and they genuinely love learning about money and how to manage money. Any opportunity for students to be able to talk about money um, and learn and develop their, their skills and understanding um, is going to be beneficial, uh, especially in a primary setting. This is the second year we've been running um, in conjunction with Rise High Financial Solutions um, and come in and we got uh, incredible benefit um, from our first year, which was last year, 2016. Uh, we had a lot more students um, sign up for things like school banking, um, which is a definite benefit for us. When we're um, blessed to have things such as Rise High coming to the school, um, it's very important to consolidate on what they're, the message that they're trying to send across to the, to the learners. And so uh, when we're informed of such programs coming to the school, we try to um, instill students with prior knowledge so they can contribute when the programs come and then further consolidate by uh, talking about what their message was and incorporate that into the, to the learning intentions of the Australian curriculum. Well, saving is important because if you want something, then if you need something in the future and you don't know you're going to need it, you have the money you already need. I like the bit when we did needs and wants, so I don't really need what I want all the time. Well, I want to learn more about money because maybe in the future if I earn a business, then I know how to probably properly control the money and I can keep the business going. I'm, al I'm already like, start I've already started saving money to create like my own like a uh, sort of business, like, um, like a comic book business. I'm not really saving for anything specific, but I know that later I might want something, so I'm putting it aside until I think that I might want something. Most people think this is not really the best thing to spend money on, but I would like to spend it on like collectibles and stuff. Yeah, I'm saving for a couple of things. I'm saving for like games and some toys and stuff like that. I think financial literacy is extremely important in the classroom because not only are we teaching uh, what money is to children, but we're actually talking about what decisions they're going to be making with that money. And so that instills a sense of responsibility and, um, and money knowledge. So the children need to know how much they've got left, the change that they need to use and, and how much um, things are, their value. I think because of today I will know how to save better because I learnt how, what you need and what you want and I learnt that you should take care of your money and keep it safe until you need to use it. Yeah.